Welcome back, everybody. So I finished up on the walls here. Just did a little bit of tidying up. Put a nice little pattern up here. We're going to have a few houses and apartments. And I'm pretty sure we're going to expand over to where those trees are. I'm going to have to clear all that out and do the same you know, type of landscaping I did over here. But I thought this would be actually a pretty good spot for some high bridge. This gigantic bridge that goes across this gigantic chasm. I need to raise the wall, you know, the walls up, but we'll clear, you know, sort of clear all this out and we'll have a nice big bridge that goes to that side from over here. And we'll also be able to go through that gate. Oops. Do I have a zoom? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's a gate down there. There's an awful lot of snow on that wall I need to get rid of. So you'd be able to get to the lower part. So all this would be cleared out. There's a river that goes around here. And it goes all the way over to the back here. Still need to do the walls where the sheep are. Yeah, so the river actually cuts over there. You can just see it. And I was thinking, I know, scary. Going to cause me more work. But, let's see if I can jump up here. Yeah, I was thinking... We have this river it goes on the other side of the tower down in this canyon here so there's a river and this is the same one that goes all the way over to the front of the city and then it carries on off over in that direction and then we have this river here which loops around and connects up over there so it's the same river um, I thought maybe make this an island we're on and that would involve cutting out this section here. So basically cut a canyon through here over to that river over there. And then the wall would just continue along the edge of that canyon. And then all the way around the building there. I mean the, uh, the, the woods and the, over to the buildings over on that side. So that wasn't my original plan. My original plan was just to stick with the area I've got marked off. But the more I'm looking at it, the more I think, you know, I can add in, I can, uh, I haven't got a list of the buildings I'm going to put over here, but I can, I can make some up. We can do something, make a few mini farms, mini farmhouses and that kind of stuff. May even expand this road out here or maybe put a road going up there. We'll have to figure out. I'm still going to add this wall in here. So it'd be kind of like a divider in the city. So that half and this half. But yeah, if I clear all that out and make a river all the way around there, this would be a kind of an isolated island. And I could put walls all the way around it and it can be nice and safe from everything but pillagers. Because the pillagers just seem to show up wherever they want. As you see, I've got this road out, you know, just kind of circling this open area. So I'm going to add in um, kind of a flower plant store right here. Because it's something I can build. I think it's nice. And then some other stores over on that end. And then mainly up on the top up there will be housing. So overlooking stuff. And I added a little seating area here with some benches. So you can uh, enjoy yourself. And I still need to really do this. This is going to be the entrance into the hot springs. So I'll need to kind of landscape this out. Push it up. This will be mainly cobblestone and mossy cobble. So I think I'm going to have to bone meal a bunch more uh, moss so I can make a lot more cobble bricks. But that'll be this whole entrance will be cobble and mossy cobble going up into the hot springs. So if I am going to have a flower plant shop, I'm going to need a bunch of flowers. And digging through my chests, this is all I came up with. Not very many. So I need to... Uh, I need to go find a flowered forest so I can get a bunch of flowers. Now I know I have one over near my castle, but that is a long, long, long ways away. And I don't feel like running over there, flying over there, going through the nether to get over there. So we are going to see if we can find one in this general area. 
Now the good thing about being this far out is this is all new current terrain for the current version. So I should be able to use the locate command to see where the nearest flowered forest is. I usually cannot use the locate command because the terrain I have is generated way back in 1.7 and we are in 1.19. So that's quite a few versions. I mean the locate command I don't even think existed. No, it didn't. It didn't exist back when I created this world. So yeah, I wouldn't expect it to be able to find things. And I've tried to find strongholds and stuff using the command in my, you know, in the world over there, my previously generated world, and it doesn't find the right stuff because terrain generations change, structure generations change, all that kind of stuff. But I should be able to do locate uh, biome in the Minecraft and do flower and no, a flower forest. There we go. And it is 1400 blocks away. Negative 4611, 2252. So we are at negative 31, 2028. So if I need to go 44, I need to go, yeah, this way. So I need to head west and south. So southwest. So I need to head southwest in that direction until I get to 46 and 22. Which isn't too bad. It is kind of, kind of a hike. So we're going to go on a little adventure today. I've got some bones so I can bone meal my flowers and get all the flowers I need. And I think for this adventure, we are going to, I've got plenty of food. Yeah, double check, 53 steaks, that should get me. Oh, I need a bed, I think. Let's get a bed. Because you never know how long things are going to take. So it doesn't uh, hurt to... Make a bed and you, you know, so you can sleep. The only trouble with doing that is you, you lose your spawn. If I accidentally die or get killed. Maybe I can't have a bed because I can't find a friggin' block of wood. There we go. But if you get, you know, killed or anything, you're going to spawn back at spawn, which is 31... But 2,800 or, or 1,800 blocks away. So, yeah. So, it's a long, long way away. So, let's go get our donkey. I can't take him through this treacherous thing. This is my uh, clay field. So, I can make clay bricks and stuff. Clay farm. So, I could actually... Talk about expanding this way to make new terrain and stuff. I could actually... Make a clay store with a clay farm in it. So like a terracotta store. And put that clay farm in it. Well that could be where I have stores like that. I could have the farm in it. Like if I had a wool store. I could have a mini wool farm in there. Or a cactus store. I could have a mini cactus farm in there. Instead of just making you know, like a specific store. Where is your. There we go. Got your leash. Is the oops? Give me that leash. Oh, it's over there. Come on. So donkey, do you have? Okay, you don't have anything in there, so I'll just put the lead in there. Because I can't go that way. Ooh, it's snowing. Ho ho ho, snow. So anyhow, let's uh, before I get too crazy. Um, uh, Can I get my caffeine kicked in today? Let's see if we can get down here. I need to clear out all this. So all of this will be cleared out. So let's actually just kind of take a run around here. And see where this island is. Yeah, so this is going to be a lot of space out here. But this river goes around this way. Oh, there's a 
There's one of those azalea trees. You can just see it back there. That means there's a well, those lush biomes underground. So, oh, that's a good place to get a bunch. If I need to build, get some more clay for building and setting bricks and stuff. This goes across here. You see, there's no this uh, spruce forest over there, so it's not as snowy of a biome over there. So the river goes all the way around here. So all of this would be encompassing the city. I'd probably build a wall and just raise it up a little bit. See if we can get around here. Let's see, I can't see up top. That must be, uh, it's going to be up there someplace. So. Yeah, so I think this is gonna, all going to be island. This will be a big island, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah, so it's going to have to cut across through here. So I think that canyon I was talking about is going to be through here. Yeah, so, it's, so I'd have to go through here. Oh, it's already got water. So it's part of the battle. It's got, oh, wow. Nice, nice cave. Oh yeah, there's my wall. So yeah, I would have to clear out all this. Maybe not that cave, but so come up here. So where I'm, so the canyon would go through here. This side over here would be all wall. The river, yeah. So the river would go through a canyon here and probably around and come out and connect over here. So all this would be river. That would be, that's the path of the river. So let's see if we can get, hopefully, we, well, if I have flower forest, that should get us out of the snow finally. But there, there is, this whole world is cold and icy and snowy. Winter has come and set in this town, or in this, uh, in this biome, or this world. So I got these big... Ice, you know, ice spike planes here. We're heading in the right direction. So at 21, so what Z is 21. So we're almost at the right Z and they just need to head in. So we've gone far enough, you know, south. We just need to head west. Ooh, look at that lava. We'll just keep our eyes open. Maybe they'll find something exciting for you to look at. You know, it's just like another drive. And speaking of drives, I was driving this weekend. And we're on those uh, I-5 interstate highways. So it's got two lanes going north, two lanes going south. And I'm so I'm heading back north. And in the southbound lane, I come up over the hill. And there's a car in the inside lane. They got the, like, the cement barrier in between the uh, two highways so cars don't run into each other head on but there's a car up against the barrier um in flames there's like four five foot red orange flames shooting out of the top of the car the whole car's like engulfed i don't know what the heck happened cars all parked over there it's the police and the fire aren't even there yet but there's like you know five or six people sitting on the side of the road looking on uh, no one luckily it didn't look like anyone was in there um did see the fire trucks later but that, i've never seen anything like that did make me a little nervous so i'm driving by this gigantic flaming car and i'm thinking me you know i'm i'm on the other side of the highway so i should be safe except what happens if like the gas tank explodes or something that was like, i've never seen that before i've seen it on tv but in real life driving you know just very close to a to a burning cars just terrifying oh it's nighttime so hopefully I, oh a village hopefully i won't uh, ever see that again but i don't know what happened because there was no there was only one car there it didn't even look like it was wrecked it was just sitting there parked in the fast lane up against the barrier pour you know it was rain coming down so it's pouring out rain so maybe it you know had trouble with the water and ran into the wall or something but 
We didn't even make it to the side of the road. Ooh, it, it was like in the middle of the road. And uh, on flames. Was it? That was, I've never seen anything like that before. And don't really want to see that again. So. But luckily, yeah, that, well, we did see the fire truck and the police and stuff heading that direction. But that was, like, sometimes you see something you've never seen before. And that was it. Okay, let me get some sleep. This will be much better in the daytime. Since I've already had a zombie attack. Not much of a village here. Small little building. This is a stone, yeah, stone cutters room. Huh? I can get clay from that guy. Oh, there's a few houses over there. There's what, another one here. So, boy, these guys are just basically like a little clay pit or clay mason's uh, mason's house or mason's uh, village. So, what's this one? Look at that. More ice spikes. This, no matter where you go, there's like ice. I think I've mentioned that before. Oh, look, a kid. I mentioned that before where it's just like this whole world. I had to trim part of it. That's why if you look at the map, it's just ugly. Because I wanted to get rid of some of this ice. And I don't think it did me any good. It's I'm still getting ice. It must be just the seed. It's just... Let's, uh, let's have snow seed. We got a Fletcher's house. I haven't seen a single chest yet. Although, I probably don't need anything from those chests. This village kind of spreads out, doesn't it? There's this little hermit hut over here. I don't know who lives in this. There's a, a horse hiding in a tree. It's just a little house there. He's looking off into the distance, dreaming of climbing the mountain. That's kind of cool. Nice big icy world, but there's like snow. Yeah, more snow. And they're kind of in, so that's not too bad. Big mountains over there. I don't really see anything over there. I'm betting the flowers. There's fun, there's a few flowers over there, so I'm betting the flower forest is over in that area. I've never seen a horse in a tree before. And I guess, yeah, the only two, there's a couple more houses over here. I guess I could take these blue flowers. Those would be good in the store. Don't have any of those. Well, this, someone needs to do some foundation work. Call Ramjack to fix this thing because it's it needs to be fixed. Oh, a chest finally. And what do we got? Some emeralds, apples. I'll leave that for you. Don't really need that. Any more blue flowers around here? I don't see any more blue flowers. I wonder if I uh, if I bone mill will I get blue flowers? And then I got these flowers. These flowers. No, eh, not much. You know what I forgot? I forgot to bring a bucket. Because it's much easier to harvest flowers if you can just bone meal and then wash them all away. Collect them up and then Bone meal again. Oh, there's a blue one. And these guys didn't have any iron. Well, do I have a bucket in here? Uh, no. I have an ender chest. I wonder if my ender chest has anything useful in it anymore. I pretty pretty much emptied it out. Yeah, that's a fortune. Yes, silk touch. Yeah, silk touch. So let's see. Oh, there. No. Bucket of milk. Bucket of fish. I 
light to keep the bucket of milk. Oh, there's two buckets of milk. I think I can sacrifice one of my milk buckets. And I can just fill it in later on. Oh, dang it. I need to put the yellow one in first. And then pick up that. Then put that in there. And then pick up that. And that should keep things under order. And then drink some milk. Makes the body strong. Builds, good, builds up the bones. Gives me the energy I need to continue on my way. Oh, there's a blue one. Just randomly clicking around here just to see if I can get anything. Nope. There, there, there. That should be enough those. I mean, I, what, collecting a bunch of them, I only need like one or two. I mean, I'm making a flower store or plant store. I'm not making a big, what do they call it, arbor or a, a planet, planetarium. What's a plant, planetarium? Isn't that, oh, that's where they show the thing, pictures of planets and stuff, I think. Like an arbor or, or, or a greenhouse. Yeah. I don't know what I'm, I, I cannot cannot figure out what I'm going to say. I see the flowered forest up ahead. That's got to be it. And I see a bunch of flowers. Yeah, I see flowers all over the place. Bees nests, an idyllic paradise. But I think... I spent a lot of time talking and a lot of time riding my donkey around. And I've wasted up a lot of time. Which uh, I think I'm going to cut right here. And make this the end of an episode. That way I don't, you're not going to have to spend hours. At least at one sitting. You can, I can break it into uh, bite-sized little pieces for you. And this will be one little chunk you can nibble on and enjoy. For the next couple days until the next version comes out where we will be picking up some flowers around here and then heading on back although i may out of curiosity just see what is over the next hill if there's anything good so until then have a great day and i'll see you later bye bye now